Hey friends, this is the second part of Dublin travel vlog and today it's going to be very luxurious because we are visiting famous Dublin castle. Most of the current construction of Dublin castle that we see today dates from the 18th century, but the castle itself he stood here on this site since far 11th century. Dublin Castle has a very long history. It served as the seat of English, then later on British, then the government of Ireland under the Lordship of Ireland, then the Kingdom of Ireland, then the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, until finally after the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty in December 1921, the complex was ceremonially handed over to the newly formed Provisional Government of Ireland, led by Michael Collins. Today, Castle holds the inauguration of each President of Ireland, as well as different state receptions, exhibitions, and many other events. Walking through the Royal State Corridors felt really special. Dublin Castle has a large collection of paintings and portraits, which I was very happy to see. But it is also rich in sculpture, furniture, Clocks, china, glassware, prints, tapestries, stained glass, and textiles from the 17th century to the present day. This is the state drawing room that was largely destroyed by fire in 1941 but reconstructed with minor modifications in 1960s. Beautiful space, isn't it? I don't know about you, but for me, paintings on the walls are very important. My father was a painter, so I grew up in a house full with paintings. Whenever we would go to visit our friends at their home, the first thing I would notice is if they have paintings on the walls. This is still the first thing I notice when I'm at someone else's place. Every castle has a throne room, and this is the one of Dublin's castle. It contains a throne built for the visit of King George IV to Ireland in 1821. Now my friends, heart of every home, as well as heart of this castle, the dining room, also called the picture gallery and formerly known as the supper room. It is the oldest room in the castle and largely retained its original decoration by luckily having escaped fires over the years. Portraits in this room are just stunning. And the last room, that also happened to be the biggest room. St. Patrick's Hall. By the way, the castle also has a medieval tower that remained from the original 13th century castle, but it is currently not open for visitors. And if the weather is warm, we can take a walk in the castle gardens.
some practical information about visiting the castle. It is open every day in the week from 9.45 till 17.45 and the ticket costs 8 euros. And now, let's visit one maybe a bit less known, but also very important and beautiful site in Dublin, Christ Church Cathedral. Christ Church Cathedral has stood in the heart of Dublin for almost a thousand years. The cathedral is a home to the famous 12th century crypt, one of the oldest and largest scripts in Britain and Ireland. This interesting and also sad-looking sculpture is a homeless Jesus sculpture. Interestingly, this sculpture has been presented to the people of Dublin by an anonymous North American sculptor. The bronze sculpture is located just in front of the cathedral. That's it, my friends. We all learned together something interesting today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.